So this module is art and design. Uh, last time we discussed on uh, the topics we are going to discuss on art and design, the classification of art, and uh, we have started art movements, uh, the history of art. Uh, so we discussed about the classical art uh, movement uh, about Greek and Roman art. And now, uh, yes, Greek and Roman art and architecture like these. Uh, then the medieval age of art. Uh, this is the medieval age of art. Um, with all the frescoes and uh, religious paintings uh, and Gothic cathedrals like this in architecture. And then uh, we came up to the Renaissance period of art, uh, uh, the time of Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, Raphael, and all the famous artists, uh, the Mona Lisa. The realistic uh, sculptures of Michelangelo. And the uh, use of light and shadow to uh, give more realistic uh, values in paintings, the use of lights like this. And we talk about uh, romanticism was realism. Romantic, uh, romanticism is about being so beautiful and very positive. Uh, just wait. The romanticism uh, was realism. Uh, uh, how people brought out, the painters brought out the uh, very beautiful uh, and positive modes, uh, even in uh, every subject matter. Uh, it was about romanticism. And then people started uh, doing more realistic work um, like this. Uh, it is about uh, realism and uh, negative and um, realistic uh, topics to paint. Uh, and also um, natural compositions and uh, in a very realistic manner. That's what, that was about uh, romanticism and realism. That's where we ended, I guess. So today, uh, the art movement continues. Uh, uh, after the Renaissance era, uh, we are moving on to uh, modern and postmodern art movements. Uh, modern, uh, the word modern, modern means actually up to date, uh, very neat. But uh, but uh, in art movements, traditionally, modern art means after the Renaissance period. Uh, during at, uh, approximately uh, 1870s to 1970s. Uh, this is a rough, uh, very rough uh, time frame, actually. Uh, as I told you earlier in the previous session, art movements just uh, did not uh, appear in one day. So the uh, painters and artists. Uh, architects were continuous uh, experimenting and uh, uh, trying out new things. That's how it evolved. So um, the time frame, uh, we call it uh, roughly to 1870s to 1970s. Uh, so this century uh, is uh, about modern art. Uh, and uh, modern art, uh, in this period, there are a lot of uh, 
art moments uh, popped up and uh, a lot, several art moments. And uh, so we are not going to discuss each and everything uh, in here, but uh, the major uh, art moments will be discussed. This modern era followed a long period of uh, domination by Renaissance inspired of uh, academic art promoted by the network of European academies of fine art. Uh, it means that Renaissance period that uh, and after the Renaissance, the art was uh, very um, academic uh, subject. So it was uh, the network was uh, controlled uh, by the European academies of fine art. And uh, and after the modern art movements uh, from 1970 onwards, we, we call them contemporary art or uh, postmodern. Uh, Postmodern art is uh, the advancements uh, made in the modern period was followed by uh, more experimental work in postmodern era. Uh, and uh, there were two major inventions uh, that uh, made this change uh, in modern art. The one is uh, in 1841, the American painter John Rand invented the collapsible thin, thin paint tube. Uh, in previous uh, time, they were uh, uh, the paint was uh, like they made the paints and uh, it should be uh, drawn uh, before the uh, paint get dries out. Uh, but after um, the invention of paint tube, uh, painters can uh, was able to uh, uh, draw the like uh, do the sketches and paintings um, at their studios for a longer time uh, with the paint tube. So that was an invention in art. Uh, so uh, so much experiments happen uh, because we can save the paint mm. and the other major advance were made in photography allowing artists to photograph scenes which could uh, be painted in the studio at a later date and uh, here in what ways modern art was uh, art was different um, I will read out this. Well, uh, although there is no single definition uh, defining feature of modern art, it was noted for a number of important characteristics as follows. One is new types of art. Uh, like uh, in modern era, this is 100 years. Uh, again, remember because uh, uh, in here we are talking about the whole modern period in general. So uh, in, inside this hundred years, uh, there are a lot of lot of uh, art movements inside this. So uh, new types of art like uh, collage art, assemblage. Assemblage means, uh, we'll discuss it later in the art movement, uh, and variety of uh, kinetic arts. Uh, several genres of uh, photography, animation, uh, land art, artworks, performance art. Likewise, uh, with the advancement of technology uh, and the advancement uh, and uh, social movements and cultural movements, uh, the world war II, uh, and everything happened in uh, this uh, period. So after the world wars, how people uh, change uh, with all those uh, changes, new types of art uh, uh, popped out uh, in this uh, modern period. And uh, the use of new materials. Uh, 
modern painted affixes objects to their canvases, uh, such as fragmented uh, fragments of newspapers. That uh, it, it, it is about like collage. Uh, in, in collage, you know what collage is uh, in general now. Uh, so that uh, using uh, newspaper pieces, fabric pieces, using different materials, new materials, not, not only uh, paint and brush on canvas. Uh, so those experiments uh, uh, came up in this modern period and expressive use of colors. They uh, use colors to express their ideas, not, the, not just the natural look. Uh, and new techniques. Uh, there are several techniques explained here. The techniques, uh, for example, like collage, uh, the techniques uh, appeared with those art movements. Uh, I have put the link also uh, where I put this text. Uh, so you can go through and see. Don't worry if you don't understand that part because uh, we are going to explain, uh, discuss about the uh, art movements separately, then you will understand that. So last time, uh, the, uh, the last uh, art movements we discussed was uh, realism and uh, what is the other one? Uh, romanticism. Um, so after uh, the the end of the Renaissance, it was. Uh, about more about uh, realism so after the realism uh, being realistic uh, what is the uh, art movement came up art movement followed uh, realism that is impressionism uh, this painting uh, sunrise by claude monet uh, claude monet remember that name Claude Monet uh, was the pioneer artist in uh, Impressionism. This art movement started in late 19th century through the works of French painters. Mm. They were the uh, they were more fo focused on effects of light and color. Uh, was mainly representational art forms with nature and light subjects featuring prominently. With the focus on light and color, Impressionist painters attempted to give more accurate representations of real life in color. Impressionism is uh, called as the maximum, the peak of realism. Because uh, these paintings were drawn outside, uh, not in terms of, uh, I mean, the maximum uh, express of uh, realism is not in terms of the uh, subjects, uh, but, uh, but, in, uh, but what we can see visually. So uh, these paintings were done in outdoors, outside. Uh, they were very quick and capturing the moments. Like in this painting, it is sunrise. When the sun rises over this river, it has quickly captured the light and the color. Uh, the shades of the uh, orange here in the upper part and the uh, orange patch of light over the river. Uh, that he has uh, very quickly captured the um, sunrise. With the next paintings, you will uh, realize that more. Um, the impressionist main priorities included uh, the immediate and optically accurate depiction of a momentary scene that when the scene was very nice and uh, they have 
uh, immediately captured it. And that is optically accurate. Optically accurate is what we can see properly, see in that moment. Just at the moment, uh, with the light, uh, what we can see. So the visual beauty was captured here. Uh, the execution of the whole work in the open air. Uh, no more preparatory um, sketches and careful completion in the studio. The previous uh, realistic and um, paintings, they were done in studios. That they were, uh, even we uh, saw pictures of uh, Leonardo da Vinci and Raphael's. Uh, sketches before the painting, they have done so many studies uh, on uh, anatomy, uh, the figures, uh, the gestures. Uh, they have done so many studies and sketches preparation uh, to do the painting. Then, then, but uh, but here, no more sketches, no more uh, careful completions. Uh, with long hours and days uh, are done in studios, but in the open air, uh, they quickly did the paintings. And the use of pure color on canvas rather than we first mix on the color. They mix the colors, even uh, mix the colors paintings on the canvas itself. The use of small strokes and dabs of brightly colored paint, uh, very small uh, patches used to get the uh, look of the light. Use of light and color to unify a picture instead of the traditional method of gradually build up painting by outline and modeling with light and shape. Uh, the previously in Renaissance period, the painting was done with the outline and there was a, a like theoretical uh, way. Uh, standard method to uh, do a painting, do the outline and do the modeling uh, and with light and shade. Uh, that's how the painting was made. But here, uh, no traditional methods are used, but uh, light and color, uh, they use uh, light and color shades of paint to highlight the image, like this one. This is another painting by Claude Monet, copies. You can see the light and the, these are just patches of paint to represent the poppy flowers. Just look at the paintings and you will get the idea how it is different from realism. From the previous time. See this one? No outlines, no very um, very defined images, but you get the feeling. Here the colors, color patches of the dress. It's not just white, the patches, you can see the patches in, in realistic paintings. Uh, the patches are not visible like this. This is also another painting by Claude Monet. This one. Renault was another artist in this. Uh, Renault was another artist in this uh, art movement with Claude Monet. This one, August Rayon. is the that is me. The dance, outdoor dance. I can't pronounce this one. Here, the light and the moments how he has captured it. A bar. Manny, this is not Claude Monet, Edward Manny is another artist. Two different artists uh, by the techniques look same. And the other uh, pioneer painter in uh, 
impressionism was edgar dega uh, you pronounce it as dega edgar dega he has done so many paintings uh, of the ballet artists ballet dancers very beautiful uh, paintings see this one with the light This is another painting by Edgar Degas. And uh, after the Impressionism, uh, it was another movement called Post-Impressionism, just followed by the uh, Impressionism. Uh, the most prominent uh, uh, artist in this was uh, Vincent van Gogh. Uh, you may have seen this uh, this painting a lot. Uh, Starry Night. This is Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh. Uh, in this painting, this has been used in so many art forms up to date uh, because uh, this was the very mm, the subtle change between realist. Uh, Sorry, the impression is love up to um, adding your own ideas into that. I think you can see that with this image, uh, with this painting, uh, he has depicted the same scene of the starry night, but has added some more uh, his own ideas into that. This is post-impressionism. Uh, in in this era, uh, several artists. This is Vin Vincent Van Gogh. Uh, uh, self portraits of him. Uh, this is a uh, self portrait with the straw hat. We call it straw hat. See that uh, it has the essence of impressionism as well as you can see with the patches of light uh, the small brush strokes even this one a lot of small brush strokes uh, dabs onto the canvas but it has some kind of own ideas also These paintings again, Tango, wheat field with cypress, wheat field with crows, again the outdoor scenes that he has uh, captured. House at Avis. Can you see the light patches? Small brush strokes. It, uh, you can see the change from the previous art into a, something new so he is a change making artist and this is another uh, artist that we can uh, group into this postmodernism uh, post sorry post impressionist uh, era Paul Bogan uh, the artist Paul Gauguin, uh, he seems to be uh, a more philosophical artist. Where, uh, look at this painting. Uh, where do we came, come from? What are we? Where are we going? That's the title of this painting. So this one is uh, considered to be uh, most philosophical art so that uh, philosophical ideas were also uh, came into art in this era uh, that uh, Paul Gauguin was uh, a pioneer in that a page from Paul Gauguin's uh, notebook and another painting by him the next art movement is Art Nouveau. Art Nouveau uh, is another postmodern uh, art form. Uh, 
at the moment. Uh, so, from the previous uh, art movements, when compared, this is so different. You can see that. And this one were uh, more into uh, architecture. Uh, this one evolves with the architecture. And this is a bit different from the previous art movements. So, can anybody tell me with these uh, pictures you see? Uh, what is unique and what is different here? What you can see in this uh, work? Okay. Uh, Deepika, one of the pain in images. Yes, madam. Yes, Lipika. What can you see? Especially international art. Uh, all the art we discussed uh, were international uh, and European. This is also European art. Uh, in terms of the lines, uh, structures here. Munavagi, the name is fonts. Can you see anything different? Munavagi lines, the name of use Karatiye. Someone decorative art. Yes, yes, very good. Decorative, very decorative. Uh, when compared to the other, uh, very decorative art. Yes, Tejana. 3D look in the. Uh, First and second pictures. Oh, make a uh, 3D look. Mm, this movement was more into uh, architecture. So that's why uh, you can see the 3D forms. Yes, this art form uh, came in 3D work as well, uh, more into architecture, right? Mm, yes. Shehan Vector Art. Uh, sharpness, hard work. Are the, you mean the Shehan means, I think the Vector Art means uh, on the walls and the flow. Yes. Uh, make it be Vector Art, Tirmata Vadia. We can call it. Uh, I can make a wave of vector when I pass it. I think this is uh, a long ago before vector art uh, produced. So this is about uh, the patterns, shapes, uh, lines, curvy lines, and very decorative form of art. Uh, right, good. Yes, uh, sharpness and hard work. Yes, uh, this is, uh, can we call it sharpness? Uh, we'll see. Uh, this is a uh, more lot of work, like very decorative and lot of work. And also the graphics started, as uh, Shehan said, uh, a graphic started. Uh, mm, in printed medium uh, in this era. So, um, more into graphics as well, uh, like uh, posters like this. And that's very decorative with all the patterns and tiny details. Yes. Yes, good responses from the those who, <laughs> those who the microphones are not working. Uh, even the others, uh, I don't mind if you put something on chat, but uh, I prefer if you can speak uh, in English or Sinhala, anything, uh, but uh, just just uh, tell me the ideas that come into your mind. Then 
that's no uh, there's no right or wrong answers here okay good responses for the art no um, let's see what are the other things see the uh, this is these are about the paintings and and also this art movement art noir uh, was uh, incorporated with paintings uh, the posters uh, and um, furniture jewelry uh, interior design architecture lot of uh, forms incorporated in this movement and it was a very fashionable uh, very trendy thing look at this painting uh, very decorative has put all the flowers and all that's quite different from the others uh, we learned so far there were several types uh, this one with all the floral looks entrance hall to victor hotel's art noir building in brussels gated castle the ranger see the gate අනිත් එක මේ ආත් මොමන්ට් එකේදී ගොඩක් මෙටල් වර්ක් එක තුනක් මෙටල් දැන් මෙටල් බෙන්ඩ් කරන්න පුළුවන් වෙච්ච එකේ ඒ කියන්නේ ඒක ඒගොල්ලන්ට අලුත් තුනහම මෙටල් බෙන්ඩ් කරලා වැඩ කරන්න පුළුවන් වුණාම ඒක තියෙන ඔක්කොම ඔක්කොම දේවල් එක්ස්පරිමන්ට් කරලා ඒක ට්‍රයි අවුට් කරපු එකක් විදිහට මේ මේ ආත් මොමන්ට් එක දකින්න පුළුවන් the all the metal work the advancements in metal uh, that they can bend and create several uh, looks uh, the ability to work with metal uh, incorporated in this art form railway station interior see the lines and the furniture designs were like this this is something inspired from art noir this is not that uh, old aged art noir but uh, in modern days uh, we you can call this inspired from art noir even in uh, 70s 80s forms in our places like in sri lanka also uh, in those uh, time we had this kind of very decorative stuff uh, today we use more more uh, neutral and not much decorative uh, work uh, like minimalistic work is that what we are using in these days but uh, there was a time uh, that even in sri lanka Uh, the house and interior work was inspired uh, like this kind of uh, art noir you may have seen this this is also another new one uh, you can call it art noir all the curvy lines not rigid very curvy detailed and decorative okay next one is uh, art deco art deco was the most fashionable international design movement in modern art in 25 to 40s uh, this, this was a very short period of time uh, when compared to the other art movements it uh, popped out uh, and declined uh, within a short period of time uh, 1925 Uh, until four days uh, it is like uh, the after the art noir uh, this one was more into straight realistic uh, like straight uh, geometric shapes mm. 
and uh, this is more in uh, again in interior and uh, uh, architecture. This art deco embraced all types of art, including carves as well as fine art. It was applied to decorative art like interior design, furniture, jewelry, textile, fashion, industrial design, as well as to the applied art of architecture and visual arts of painting and graphics. Uh, so this uh, structure is geometric shapes uh, with modern technology, with smooth lines, uh, very streamlined forms and bright colors. Uh, so this was very uh, rigid form and very clean look. Mm, and it was very fashionable thing also. Uh, uh, and initially, uh, well, I will read out. Uh, the style combines uh, swirling circular and rectangular motifs often arranged in geometric patterns and broken up to up by ornamental elements featuring high gloss finishes, mirrors and glass. Art deco is very practical with its monolithic appearance but finished off with decorated motifs. Uh, appendages and uh, fanciful touches to make it appear fashionable and trendy. This was uh, initially started with a very fashionable culture, like very um, sophisticated, uh, like very fancy thing. Um, but uh, after, when it's followed by the middle class also, uh, this style uh, appeared in uh, cheaper versions also, like in in terms of materials, not those very sophisticated ones, but in uh, general materials also, it appeared. Yes. See these uh, buildings when compared to Art Noir, it's more straight lines, uh, but this is not that minimalistic, okay? Like what we see in, uh, in today, uh, this also has uh, several repetition and several lines uh, and stuff with work. See this furniture when compared to Art Noir, this is Art Deco. Even these furniture were in there in our old houses, right? Art deco style. Look at the interior. Okay. I put art deco also because it you can compare the architecture and interior uh, with art noir and art deco. Mm -hmm. And then comes uh, this is not followed by the art deco. This in this modern. Uh, period of art movements, they were not uh, followed by one another. Like in previous uh, eras we discussed, these are not followed by one another, but uh, in separate times, uh, they evolved. Uh, you can see that in the timeline that I first uh, put a picture, uh, I will uh, again uh, show you that. So the next uh, art movement that's not followed by, uh, uh, but uh, another art movement, right? It is expressionism. Uh, as you see the work, uh, the previous one uh, we were talking was impressionism. So uh, this one is expressionism. So do you know the meaning of those two words, impress and express. Anyone? Impress kya ne mukadde, express kya ne mukadde. Edeke terma. Anybody knows the meaning or any idea? Api wana hali impress karana wa, express karana wa kiena. Vachana deke venas kaan. 
expressionism and expressionism we have to uh, draw the lines in between these uh, expression is the artist prominent in uh, 1905 to 1925 whose artwork would be exaggerated expression and distortion to display some emotional effects right Here's the aesthetic look of these artwork was often abstract, distorting lines, shapes was common in practice, expressionism, uh, with usage of exaggerated colors and brush strokes. Right? You will get uh, the ideas when you read this again. Uh, you will understand. And this is expression, expressionism artwork. paintings edward munch uh, was a painter uh, who was in pioneer in this this is the screen look at this painting and this is a uh, vampire love and pain without looking these uh, uh, these two paintings now can you see what is the difference between expressionism and impressionism can somebody tell me who did answered last time i couldn't got get the name was it deepika yes madam who answered do you know who answered yes who then me kata karu la me You see there. Who was speaking? Hello, madam. Ah, Deepi, are you? Who the? Oh. Ah, okay, Deepi. <laughs> Did you do art in A levels or all levels? All levels. Oh, in B Q, madam. Huh? Ah, in B Q. Okay, okay. Uh, can you tell me uh, the difference between? what you can see in this one impressionism paint uh, seen as the uh, only glazed i think only impressionism paint is the uh, seen if they had only glazed at the moment ah uh, yes the actual moment Uh, uh, yes. Imp- expressionism directly 
be focused on the emotional response? Yes, yes, right, right. Yes, good. Uh, this is more about emotional. Uh, this is more about emotions, not not what you see normally. Right. Me me deka kampya karan noni na hai ekani. Hamati se ma habai me ekani. E deka at buda pahadili be ma venas art movements deka habai ma me deka me. हाईलाइट करे मैं इम्प्रेस था एक्सप्रेस की ना वाचन देखा पैटर्न नहीं हुई ला मैं ये वाचन देखा तेरे उनका तो हम अभी तेरे के बिना सा तियागा ने पुलवा ओके ऐतो कोटा मैं मैं ये एक्सप्रेस एक्सप्रेशनिज्म वाला तेरे दी दिस वाज द टाइम दैट सिग्मन प्राइड पब्लिकेशंस वाज out do you know who sigmund freud sigmund freud have you heard of sigmund freud anyone no i don't know okay sigmund freud is father of psychology sir john sigmund freud um, as well because as i told you in the previous se session uh, this these art movements came up with the uh, what is happening around them what is happening the advantage advancements in the uh, society uh, the political social movements with those stuff these art movements uh, aroused so uh, this one was uh, the this one uh, the expressionism was tallied with uh, sigmund freud's uh, psychological publications सिग्मन प्राइड तमा में मानोविद्या विद्या विधि रामदीन माने क्या ने में मानोविद्या विधि ना एक पटांगाती में काल ये दी ये तो कुछ हिस वर्क इंफ्लुएंस्ड इन दिस आर्ट वर्क्स आल्सो दैट पीपल स्टार्टेड टू थिंक ऑफ देयर इनर सेल्फ्स व्हाट दे फील द इमोशंस दैट्स व्हाट दिस Art pieces about. Okay, uh, and uh, this painting uh, particularly put this here because uh, uh, Van Gogh, Vincent Van Gogh, who did uh, uh, paintings in post Impressionism era. Uh, his paintings was uh, were uh, like uh, they were like uh, uh, start to expressionism. They considered as a start to uh, expressionism because ne these paintings are not just paintings that we can see some feeling in that also. This is not total expressionism, but he tried to express some idea uh, through his uh, impressionism painting, like um, uh, post uh, modern uh, post impressionist paintings. That's why he is uh, like the interchange from impression to expression. Uh, this uh, this is a pair of shoes, but. Uh, this says something about the wearer that uh, the how hard uh, he has worked likewise there's another painting here see this one in this painting van gogh captured a pair of pairs of shoes on the floor most with laces untied as if they have just been taken off at the end of a long day unlike other still life subjects the shoes have been to all the places and have seen all the struggles of the owner did you get that this subject is bit different like me 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 wala patches thiyenawa mada thiyenawa so this says something about the wearer uh, we can say that this is not just a still painting that he has something in mind uh, when when he did this painting okay this is also 
another type of expression is huh? the red studio and may have meanings on this uh, composition he has made the joy of life this painting and also uh, this expressionist uh, idea came to fashion photography movies uh, likewise a lot of uh, other medium as well and the next art movement is cubism this is the very famous art movement of all time i guess uh, this uh, involves segmenting objects and arranging the pieces in abstracted form uh, and from uh, multiple viewpoints and perspectives uh, would often be small cube like geometric shapes various angles view size orientation so this is influenced by based on influenced by based on structure and form employed uh, fragmented forms and multiple viewpoints uh, flat jug shape like piece of broken glass rearranged composition explore shape analytic uh, cubism explore shape it is about shape uh, and uh, forms uh, sizes mm. like uh, you will more understand this uh, when we learn uh, design elements like Uh, how to use uh, lines shapes form color and all uh, until then see how they have used it was like cubes different shapes composition of of shapes pablo picasso one of the most fam famous artists picasso uh, was the pioneer in cubism like the shapes were turned into geometric this one still life by picasso another artist Picasso has done this type of work also, right? Not just cubism. Otherwise, if you see some other painting like uh, this, you may not feel that it, it's Picasso. But he has done these paintings also. That's why I put it here. This is another artist. that uh, the previous uh, slide is not cubism sorry for that one this is uh, pablo picasso's three musicians this is typical cubism all the pictures all the shapes were created by geometric shapes all the figures by looking at this painting you can uh, see what is cubism do you know any uh, painter who brought cubism into sri lanka have you seen similar uh, similar to this painting any similar paintings from sri lanka george kit जॉर्ज किलाटोलेशन इंस्पायर बाय क्यूबिजम this cubism so the next uh, uh art movement is called dadaism dadaism was uh, 
another art form uh, art movement that came this was uh, you can call it anti art anti art can you got any idea what can be anti art or how normally how do we use uh, the word anti antibacterial can any idea you uh, don't have any idea on what is antibacterial antibiotics uh, what else shifting is in one uh who's that who was speaking please tell your name i can't hear you properly pratinirmana yes pratinirmana uh, no uh shihani is also te telling pratinirmana uh, and venas karana dekama that uh, more accurate is viruddha uh, deyak karana kiyana ek yes at least you had time to search it on internet <laughs> and tell me the answer right uh viruddha deyak karana kiyana ek thamai anti kiyana den anti anti bacteria can pratijiva ka kiyana ek ne uh etokota den eke di metana prati kiyana ek prati nirmane kiyana ek when it comes to uh, मेतन प्रति निर्माण वचने प्रति वचने प्रति निर्माण अगेन्टीरिया just like that uh, against art art walata venas de karana etokota meka mona wage deyak wenna atida like uh, so far art was to please people art was like a uh, very beautiful thing so in dadaism the anti art movement appear right rejected popularized here yeah, i am reading this one rejected popularized aesthetic values that what we call beauty what we call art we all reject that so an attempt uh, attempted to create bizarre nonsensical anti art the art works tended to have no implied meanings they don't say that this has mean you know there's no meaning in those art the works often the really art works or style of the other artists uh and this dadaism was also a cultural movement of a post world war world war 1 era developed in reaction to world war 1 the dada movement consisted of artists who rejected logic reason is criticism modern capitalist society instead expressing nonsense irrationality e kiyanne me wada kisima therumak na mukut me adahasak na that was a rejection me adahasak na kiyanne egolange rejection ekak you get that so art is not uh, responsible on giving the reason or the logic uh, to the art that's how dadaism was uh, appeared e langata me me dadaism kiyana ke vachane tat why it is called dada that's not uh, a very clear idea uh, we still don't know the true reason to put that name dada but uh, Uh, why we call it dadaism is uh, that uh, a group of artists uh, 
had an exhibition uh, called uh, those exhibition dada uh, dada art and um, that's why we uh, call it dadaism uh, um, that was a group of people did this art movement just a set of people started this see this one and also i will go for the okay look at this uh fountain this uh artist uh marcel dashan uh, he just put the upside down a urinary pot and call it fountain that's their art this is a photo montage photo montage is mm, take a set of photos and uh, uh, pictures and keep them aligned he may had a meaning for this he may not see put a beard and mustache to the uh, mona lisa painting So this is Dadaism. Art techniques developed in here was collage, cut up techniques. Like uh, collage was uh, appeared with this uh, Dadaism and photo montage and assemblage. Assemblage is we are using uh, uh, different pieces from different things and put them together to uh, put a meaning. असेंबल करना क्या नहीं कैली के नाला हाई करना क्या नहीं था एंड रेडी मेड्स रेडी मेड्स मेड्स दिस आर्टिस्ट वाज द वन हु इन्वेंटेड दैट आइडिया दैट ही हैज समथिंग ऑलरेडी एन ऑब्जेक्ट एंड ही पुट इट अपसाइड डाउन और जस्ट पुट इट इन अनदर वे एंड मेक द मेक दैट Uh, express a new idea or uh, meaning or something so that's uh, the technique he call it ready made so those type of uh, different techniques uh, were introduced in this uh, dadaism that this group of people this was a very small movement not a big one uh, but this led to so many other art movements and uh, how to reject uh, ideas and how to reject the society how can you express your rejection through art was uh, introduced to the artist that's what this uh, dadaism uh, movement Uh, did so that's an important uh, point in art history so uh, the surrealism was followed by dadaism the surrealism is another uh, uh, art movement uh, introduced uh, and uh, what do you call it was uh, pioneered by uh, dadaism right uh, this was a movement which started 20s france and uh, lasted to, through 90s and still surrealism is uh, in practice in several art forms uh it was an art movement displaying works which played on the idea of reality and dreams artists would also create works which attempt to transform the real world when you see the paintings you will get the idea salvador dali this painter salvador dali was a pioneer in uh, surrealism 
This is not real. The form is changed. But it has a sense of reality also. So that's about reality and dream. Do you get the idea of this uh, Sade lesson? See this candle, the nose, the clock. Next one, Frida Kahlo was another artist who did uh, very surrealist paintings, read on her as well. She has a very uh, inspiring life story. Uh, she was sick and did painting for herself. Uh, these, in these paintings, all the pictures are uh, all the figures, not all, but uh, most of the figures uh, she has used is herself. Uh, the broken collar. It's not transforming the uh, form. But you have something real and something not. Do you get the idea of surrealism uh, by looking at those two artists? This is a different type of surrealism. See the heart is placed here. And the previous one is changing the form. Next one is not changing the form, but uh, bringing out other unreal stuff into the painting. And it is this surrealist movement is very expressive. They tell something unlike unlike uh, um, other uh, art forms, art movements. This one has a real meaning behind that. That uh, painter or the artist uh, has something to say always, most of the time, about this uh, painting. Surrealist photography. See this one? This is also another moment that uh, spread in different art forms. Playing with shadows, Sharia pictures of photography. Alexi Benji. Advertisements, you may have seen this. This is uh, inspired from in, or influenced by surrealism art movement. Get this. There's another one. See? Surrealist fashion. Address. So do you get the idea about surrealism, surrealist fashion, or surrealism photography? If you see it somewhere, can you recognize it now? Okay, I hope so. Mm, then, abstract art. This concept was to display through abstract art, emotion and expression rather than objects. 
These arts often attempted to display a reality of the artist's mind for simply other than the real world. These arts could commonly be made through spontaneous inclusion of lines, shapes, forms, and colors. We'll discuss with the images. See this. Kandinsky uh, was one of the pioneers in abstract art. So this one, you can't recognize a, a particular picture or an image in this. But it is a composition of lines, shapes, forms, color of everything, uh, this all or one. This is non-representational work. This one doesn't represent anything. So this Kandinsky calls his paintings improvisations and compositions, not paintings, right? Uh, and uh, colors and lines represent musical concepts. Okay. We'll see the next one. This is also Kandinsky. It was a composition of design elements. Another abstract artist. This is a very common word and misused word normally, the word abstract. So this is abstract art movement. What is it? it is about not, not recognizable pictures. Unlike in cubism, you may feel that this is a bit similar to cubism, but in cubism, you can you can see the picture through those cubes. Uh, when when it is titled. Uh, you can get an idea and, and it was done with an idea in mind but this was about maybe they had uh, some ideas about uh, what the meaning but it is more about the composition not the picture we see but the uh, composition of colors shapes and all And Mondrian was another uh, was another um, painter. He did some uh, compositions like panels. These are Mondrian's paintings. Several set of uh, panels with these compositions. And he is a pioneer in abstract art. And uh, these dressers uh, were inspired by Mondrian's paintings. Uh, and this was done by uh, Yves Saint Laurent, a fashion designer. This has colors, but I didn't put the, uh, the colored image because I'm not sure whether it's the original one or not. Uh, so this is the original. Uh, Dressers and there are several dressers repeated with this uh, Yves Saint Laurent Mondrian uh, dressers collection. Okay, that's how the art is inspired into some other forms uh, also. And next one is of art. Of art is a uh, Short for optical art uh, is a style of visual art that uses optical illusion. Another new one, optical illusion. So they were playing with optical illusions. Optical illusions means that we see different shapes and 3D spaces while uh, 
when we look at this uh, picture it's 2d but uh, we can uh, see a 3d look in that the oh, part this is in 1960s to 70 not that far Riley is a uh, pioneer artist in this uh, of art. See this one. The next one is pop art. Uh, pop art is influenced by popular culture uh, and a um, movement against art of its time. Uh, it commonly used techniques similar in aestheticism uh, and the pop art uh, it would involve uh, uh, commonplace people and items of time such as uh, bottle and soap cans, uh, particularly the work of Andy Warhol, who was a establisher of pop art. We'll see about him later. Andy Warhol is a uh, uh, pioneer artist in pop art. So this was inspired by popular uh, Culture and uh, this uh, Andy Warhol's work. Uh, the soup can. It was printed into uh, synthetic polymer paint on 32 canvases. Even the brands were incorporated into uh, their paintings. This is Andy Bogo's very uh, famous painting of uh, Madeline Monroe. Uh, see the advancements of printmaking, uh, screen printing, uh, those were incorporated into art. And the comic books. This is the pop art data. I have a video to show you about pop art that will be more describable. We'll check whether this is good. Can you see? Yes, madam. Okay. Now, can you see my YouTube? Okay, madam.
Could you see that? I will send you the link of the video. Uh, you can see that. So this pop part was about consumerism. Uh, the famous uh, artists like uh, actors, actresses. Uh, do you know who's Madeline Monroe? Can you recognize this picture? She was an actress in 1960s, a very popular actress. Uh, so those uh, popularity, iconic people, the consumerism, uh, the advertisements, uh, prints, that was used into art. Uh, comic books, especially. Uh, those were the comic books uh, inspirations like these uh, were uh, taken into art. That was pop art. Uh, Yes. A kale may be hairstyles, him may be the people I kill them. Can you hear me? Anyone watch the movie yeah, hair? Yeah. Movie hairspray. The hairspray is uh, invented on, in this era. That's why the uh, hairstyles are huge like that. Hairspray, we invent karupukale. So there's a movie called Hairspray. Watch that. It's all about uh, swinging, dancing styles, music, and you can you can see the, uh, the era, uh, the society of that time. Okay. Uh, Marilyn Monroe was an actress, very famous. So that's all about uh, art movements we are going to discuss. I know you don't won't get much uh, idea about, uh, maybe it was not much clear because uh, you are not familiar to them. Uh, so I'm sending you the, uh, this presentation and go through it and uh, recheck uh, the read the notes and um, you will get uh, more understanding when you are rechecking them because uh, since you are not much familiar to uh, this art uh, you may not uh, very clear about uh, them um, and also this is a lot to do uh, do in one session uh, since you are not art students uh, that's why I put them all together and um, I know this is a bit, uh, a bit hard one uh, just go through them again and then you'll uh, get the idea more, uh, more interestingly actually uh, you may feel that this is not much interested but uh, when you see through it you will get the interest uh, and uh, this is graphic design timeline uh, for you to refer. I put this, this here also, how uh, with the art movements and uh, and also a uh, few advance, advancements in graphics, the designs has changed. Uh, you can zoom this and check uh, the timeline and the, all the uh, notes there. And this is uh, ancient, uh, from ancient Egypt to contemporary, uh, the, how the furniture chairs have changed. History of art. Uh, look at them and just uh, how in different art movements, same thing uh, in realism, fly killer. Uh, if you kill a fly, uh, how it is expressed uh, in different art movements. Uh, this is a 
like a comic thing but uh, but even with this joke uh, you get the idea of uh, how those artists uh, sees to uh, and express their ideas in different forms okay i will give you an assignment uh, find an object uh, from uh, around you uh, it can be a uh, furniture or a book or uh, some clothing whatever object that is uh, that is inspired uh, from a particular art moment that you think that they are inspired from uh, an art moment Uh, and uh, select two of them uh, and uh, take a picture and write a description uh, of the reasons why do you think that that is inspired from that art moment uh, for example uh, if you think it is from uh, cubism uh, inspired from cubism uh, then you have to uh, describe why you, do you think that it is inspired from cubism it has used geometric shapes uh, uh, the colors lines and the composition likewise you have to uh, write a description on uh, uh, that uh, particular thing so the submission is a, a written description with visuals uh, put a picture of the object you have uh, in uh, pdf uh, send me uh, before 10 minutes is that enough i think one week more than one week uh, so that is the assignment i am giving you for the art moments uh, normally uh, normally how do you all uh, get your assignments uh, do you have any uh, do you have any uh, google classroom or something to share the assignments or directly email to the lecturer how do you do bill shani how you do you do it normally most of the lectures they give us a google google drive address oh, okay okay uh they person while you don't have something for your uh, class a google class or something no uh no madam they create oh, okay. a they create special okay. one for us and they give uh, oh, okay, okay 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 i will may email you the assignment and i will collect it in that way then uh so uh you did you get the idea uh of how to do that assignment i have two examples here with me i found yesterday i don't know whether you can see properly through my video can you see this this is a t-shirt i have uh, can you see it yes madam okay this is a t-shirt i have uh, i think this is inspired from for part for false painting can you remember that those green prints uh from the presentation i think my t-shirt this one inspired from this bohors uh pop part can you see that do you get what time say anybody deepika man kenaka therena ad madam it's better if you uh, tell that in singular oh okay me 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 man man dang assignment ekak man ai singhalen kiyanna ogollon watapike thiyena deyak balanna mukak hari api dang igena gatta art movement ekak in එක කින් ඉන්ස්පයර් වෙලාද ඒව කරලා තියෙන්නේ කියලා ෆෝර් එක්සාම්පල් මේ මට හම්බෙන වෙච්ච දෙයක් තමයි දැන් මේ මගේ ටී ෂර්ට් එකක් හරිද මේ ටී ෂර්ට් එක 
ඒකේ ප්‍රින්ට් එක මේ ප්‍රින්ට් එක ඉන්ස්පයර් වෙලා තියෙන්නේ මේ මේ වෝකෝල් ගේ ඇන්ඩි වෝකෝල් ගේ පොප් පාට් මූමන්ට් එකෙන් ඔයගොල්ලන් දැන් මේ ස්ක්‍රීන් එකේ තියෙන එක පේනවා නේද yes madam ඔව් එතකොට මේ 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 ටෙක්නික් එක තමයි මේ ටී ෂර්ට් එකේ මේ ප්‍රින්ට් එක ගැට යූස් කරලා තියෙන්නේ ඒක පැහැදිලිව ඉද පේනවනේ දැක්ක ගමන්ම හරිද එතකොට ඒ වගේ මොකක් හරි ඔබ්ජෙක්ට් එකක් හොයා ගන්න ඒක මේ ආර්ට් මූවමන්ට් එකකින් ඉන්ස්පයර් වුණා හරිද මේ මට මේ තව එකක් තියෙනවා මේක මොකද්ද ඔයගොල්ලෝ හිතන්නේ can you see it properly this is a set of books i have Jane Austen uh, gave me pot set up with this uh, letter A make a art novel inspire una kela kiyanna pula okkumara curve lines uh, ek uh, this decoration and even this print from the back side and these are the books i call it uh, that they are inspired from डेकोरेटिव uh, लाइन्स दिए ना वा मैं के लेटरिंग अकुरुती ने मैं भी दिया हरी में डेकोरेटिव फॉर्म में कुकिंग यूज़ कर लती है ना पिक्चर्स मोन वांगे द लाइक पास यू हैव टू डिस्क्राइब टू डू दैट फर्स्ट गो थ्रू द प्रेजेंटेशन गिवन एंड गो थ्रू द आर्ट मूवमेंट्स Uh, study them and when uh, after you study look around uh, the objects uh, that you can feel uh, that they are inspired from particular art movement godak vela avata furniture tiyenawa ilangata advertisement ekak wage unath kamak naha habai ඒවා මේ කියන්නේ ලංකාවේ ටෙලිවිෂන් එකේ ඔයගලන්ට දකින්න පුළුවන් එකක් හරි පත්තර එක එකක් හරි ඒ කියන්නේ දැන් ඔයගලන්ට මේක හොයා ගන්න බැරි වුණොත් TV එක යන දෙයක් දෙයක් වුණත් කමක් නැහැ හැබැයි that should be sri lankan something that you you can see really see okay perunada deepika मैडम मैं तो कुत्ता मैं ये आप भी तोर का ना ऑब्जेक्ट एक कर लांगा वो दिया कर नॉन दर ना तो मैं पिटर आटे दिया कुनात कमान ना तो नो 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 पिटर आटे दिया कुनात कमान ना है लांगा वो दिया कर नो नी ना है मांकिया ने देंगे वो लांट एक याने देंगे पिटर आटे हादर लांगा वो लेकिन आप इधर आठ मूवमेंट्स के लिए हमें क्या बहन मारते हैं वो बोले अत्तर तो दाखिना दया क्वेंडो ने एक याने हम में दया के इधर को हेवत हो आगे ना ना तां किसी मार्ट मूवमेंट के लिए हम बोले चल हाँ हाँ बेटा ओके पहले दिली दे तो बेटा मैं तो बेटा मैं एक या फिर फोटोग्राफी का सिग्नल ड्रॉप पे ना दीपी का हरे टाइम में ना है ओ एक ही फोटो एका और मैं वो बोलूँ हादरे डॉक्यूमेंट एक टेट दान एक ही फोटोग्राफ या कर गे हाँ हरी में डा हरी नहीं बस हरी एक याने देंगे हम ऑब्जेक्ट एका कोहे बात हो आ गा ना ना तंग टीवी के याने एका कुनात कमाक में है केलो मंग क्यों है एक याने � आर वी डी ऑब्जेक्ट का कोई आगे नहीं है ना तो आई प्रीफर इफ यू कैन गेट एन ऑब्जेक्ट रियल ऑब्जेक्ट ओके 
uh, any questions on the art movements or the uh, assignment? Uh, madam, can you send us the presentation slides? Yes, yes, yes. Sure, uh, I will send it today. Uh, otherwise, you won't be able to go through this. I know this is a bit complicated because uh, this is a lot for a day. So, uh, uh, first go through it and uh, read it and uh, check the uh, characteristics. Uh, so, after that, you will see around you uh, that these are uh, inspired from uh, several uh, art movements. Hmm. What else? Do you have any other questions on, on this? So we can close. See the chat. Yes, Shehan, I will send the presentation and uh, bold picture. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, don't take a uh, painting itself. Api art movement take a king tower painting a gun better take something else like like this t-shirt or uh, something else uh, that uh, in modern day they have used in several other stuff advertisement or uh, some other object furniture likewise don't take a painting itself uh, you don't have to write on pages uh, i prefer a small description uh, all the things you have to say about uh, that. I don't think you can write pages on something like that. Just uh, two pages is enough for both objects. So I don't mind even you do more than uh, uh, two objects, but uh, better to pick if you if you see more than two objects uh, put the pictures of them uh, and write the description only about two okay i will i will uh, clearly uh, write this up uh, with your questions and with the answers to your questions and uh, send it to you through email okay so anything else anything else about the art movements or anything else you want to know. Okay. Okay, then. Um, uh, next time, uh, with the with this, uh, I'll take one day to um, uh, discuss about the assignments. Uh, when we, when I get them. So on that day, again, we can um, uh, discuss if you have any questions about art movements. Uh, so uh, keep on uh, um, searching on these. Uh, this will be useful for you guys. Uh, so uh, if you have questions, uh, please keep them and we'll have a discussion uh, session when we are discussing this assignment. Uh, so again, again, you can. Um, you can discuss on art movements uh, if you have any questions on that. Uh, so for the uh, world art history, uh, we are done for, from this session. And um, uh, on Friday, uh, we'll start uh, the design part, uh, design fundamentals and uh, design principles. Uh, I will confirm you with the uh, time and date uh, for the next lecture, okay? Uh, since we are a bit uh, far uh, behind from the, the other lectures I think you have. So uh, your course coordinator asked me to do uh, two sessions per week uh, from for this week. So. Uh, probably I'll be able to do another session on uh, Friday, uh, around two hours. Uh, 
So I'll see you on Friday. Uh, please mail me if you have any questions uh, to ask. Okay. Okay, guys, then thank you. Bye. Keep safe, everybody. Bye.